very kind of liberating about moving through the gridded metropolitan layout on a bicycle where you, you, know, you can make your, your own little path through the city instead of following the uh, predetermined route of uh, the urban planners and the, and the highway infrastructure. Um, it's obviously, I think, uh, the most ecological decision. You're not using any fossil fuels, you're not burning gas, you're not requiring the vast stretches of concrete that automobile traffic needs. There's something very social about it too. We organize bike rides from the shop and from other locations around town and you get 20 or 50 people together and you go out riding but it's, it, it's not an exercise, it's not, you're not going out for aerobic activity, you go out because it's social. I'm a co-owner of Open Bicycle and Chorus Gallery and Superbi Design Collaborative. Uh, so we're a one creative basement. Uh, we operate as a retail bike shop and repair shop. Uh, we also have a fully functioning art gallery. Uh, it revolves every four to six weeks um, shows and then we have a uh, multidisciplinary design studio. Open is um... It's a bike shop uh, at first glance, but it's, it's much more than that. Uh, it's kind of an extension of what my business partner Zach teach out and I conceive of as being a, a creative space for the cycling community, um, some, a place where people can come and, and uh, have more than just the experience of buying something for the bike or, or getting something fixed, but uh, a place where they can interact with other people who are part of the community, where they can learn something, and where different uh, Different creative pursuits and lifestyles can cross and intermingle. It's, um, we see it as a hub uh, for a very diverse community. I think one of the main features of the upcoming fixed gear or track bike culture is the customization of a bicycle that really makes your bike stand alone and that's what gets the attention of others. We feel very strongly about bicycles. I mean, it, because it does act as all these different, very personal elements in your life. If it's your source of uh, exercise or freedom or transportation or it's what gets you your, your groceries or for, you know, couriers and what pays the bills, it becomes something that, a very personal object. It's not just another thing that you buy and put on the shelf and use once in a while. It becomes a, your, your daily friend. So sometimes you find that you know, going into a store and pointing to something and say, I want that bike and having them hand it to you is, is an exactly going to cut it anymore. You want something that suits you personally. And to a certain extent, you can do that through accessorizing. You can add this part or that part. But I think a lot of people start to realize that they want um, a bicycle that's built entirely from scratch for them. It suits their body to a T because everyone's body is different. Um, it suits their riding style, their strengths, their daily commute, the, the train they're going to ride over. Um, and so one of the services we offer is we work with several local friends come into our shop, we'll sit down and we'll talk. We'll talk about your riding style, we'll talk about the bikes you've owned, uh, we'll take measurements of all the limbs on your body, um, and we'll go out for rides with you and look at your riding style and see how you ride your current bike, and what things maybe are comfortable and what doesn't look comfortable. Uh, and we'll talk about even more esoteric things. We'll talk about, you know, what movies you like and uh, what furniture is interesting to you and all these other elements that we kind of filter through this process to drive a design for a bicycle that is truly yours. And we'll work with a local frame builder to build the bike to your specifications and um, to your aesthetic requirements. And then we'll build it up with components, again, all custom. And in the end of the process, which usually takes a couple months, you'll have a bicycle that is completely one of mine and it's completely yours. When you first walk into open, there's no space between you, the customer, and the mechanic. Because usually if you walk into a bike shop, you feel, you feel like there's like a certain superiority between you and the mechanic. Whereas here, it's just two human beings talking about bikes and one just so happens to teach you and let you learn more about what you really love. We wanted to create a different atmosphere, uh, something a little more welcoming and uh, a little more community-based rather than uh, offering just a point of sale and consumption. Uh, and this lets us kind of invite people over. Um, and we have uh, these interesting waves of people come in. There seems to be a kind of a pattern emerging. In the morning, you have the local Union Square and, and greater Somerville residents uh, coming through, perhaps on their way to work. Maybe they need a tube or something, or stopping in to chat, see how things are going. Like we have a few kids that come in for lunch. Uh, 
you know, a couple times a week and hang out and you know bring us records and sit. Uh, we catch up and you know we exchange stories and keep up with what's going on in the outside world. Um, it gives us somewhat of social life uh, since we've been in here for the last three months without moving. Usually nighttime finds us with the door open past closing as people are doing some repairs that take a little bit longer than they expected or maybe hanging out and having a beer and talking about any number of subjects. And it's uh, kind of the way we want the culture to build, um, like ground up. The point of the space is um, let's, let's draw these positive aspects of cycling um, into this physical location and make this a magnet, let's make this a hub, uh, let's make this a place for people to, to collect and share um, and learn and grow and form a stronger cycling culture. The focus is that the bicycle is, as we see it, the most simple and elegant solution to transportation in a metropolitan situation. You can spend, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars um, if you're smart with your money and you know, are patient um, and get a bike that would be fine for traveling, um, you know, commuting back and forth. It's a cheaper, more reliable form of transportation other than a vehicle or even a train. You, you know, shell out, you know, monthly fees to ride the train. End of the year, you know, you spend a thousand dollars for transportation and cabs, you know, late night and such. And with a bike, if you drop a thousand um, that same year, you're good for a few years. Yeah. The most amazing experience of opening this bike shop has been the support and help of the people in this area, from the other local business owners to the neighbors to the kids that stop by or bike through on their way to school. I've just been impressed with how tight-knit and um, supportive this community is. It's something I honestly didn't expect. Um, everyone thinks of Boston as, as being cold and kind of indifferent, that kind of Boston attitude. If I've learned anything, it's that, that that's not true. You know, people here have, have a lot to offer. They care about the community. And uh, I, I hope we can repay that in kind.